Hi guys, Edith Emerald here and welcome back to another video. This is The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Part 1. I am so, so excited. Okay, so I have created the Sims. Ignore that. I just had, I created them. Then my game crashed, and so I just saved the base Sims. I haven't done any of their outfits yet or anything or their hairstyles, but I just made them. So the base Sims. Well, so the Sims for this Let's Play are going to be Amelia, Oliver, and Felix Mayfield. My sister chose the name Felix. She really likes it, and I think it suits him. Um, she also said when I first created him that he looked a bit like Archie from Riverdale. I don't really see it with this version of him, but I did see it with the first version of him, so that's very annoying, but yeah. Um, I am going to be going through the new hairstyles and outfits with you all. You've probably seen other people's overviews, but I thought just in case you hadn't, and I haven't seen them yet, because I've been trying to avoid overviews and things because I wanted this to be my first impressions kind of thing. It is going to be the first part, so we're going to be introducing the Sims, creating the pets. They're going to have a cat and a dog. We're going to create them. Both Sims are going to be vets. They're both going to have the uh -huh. animal aspiration, and um, Amelia is the cat person, and Felix is the dog person. That is just what I am going with. So we are first we're going to give them the animal aspiration. The bonus trait for this is animal affection. Relationships with animals begin at higher values. And the uh -huh. aspiration is friend of the animals. This sim wants to be friends with the animals. So give her that and I'm just going to give Felix that as well. Perfect. So Amelia is going to be... She is cheerful. <laughs> you know what that trait is. Um, I am going to, as I said, do her hair and her makeup and her outfit in a minute. She is also a cat lover. So these sims tend to make cats their companions, preferring the company of cats to other sims. Now, at some point, <laughs> Amelia and Felix are going to be together at some point, but I didn't want to start off with them being married because I wanted them start off being girlfriend and boyfriend but really but I can't do that in Cavs so we're gonna have to make that happen as the LP goes along because I did want them to be married well I didn't really want them to be married I wanted them to be either dating or engaged but um, I'm I might do that off screen actually I might leave it for this part because obviously I'm creating them introducing them um, and all of that fun stuff and it is oh I'm so excited when I get to the creating the cats and dogs you'll probably hear a lot of squealing so beware, and I will try not to be too loud, but I don't know what my sound's like really on my microphone still, I'm still learning a bit. Even though I've had it a few months now, I'm still learning a bit. Um, and her last trait is a bookworm. Mm. Yeah. Right, now we're going to do Felix's traits and then we will look through the Ooh. female fashion choice options for <laughs> the female sims and his. So he is a genius. Yes. Perfect. Um, he is a dog lover. So these sims love to be near dogs. They will gain relationships faster with dogs and socialise with dogs more than the average sim. <laughs> and this is also the reason why I want them both to be best. Because then one of them can focus on the dogs more, one of them can focus on the cats more. It, I think it works like that, I'm not sure. As I said, I haven't played this yet. I played briefly last night after the whole issues I had with getting this game and installing it and all that. Um, I installed it last night and I could play for a few minutes but I didn't want to look at any of the outfits or anything like that. I just looked at the cat. Um, I created one cat um, because I have a saved game of the Goss family. I got a certain amount far with them. They had a little boy, so they've got three children now. But then when the little boy aged up to a toddler a few months ago, I was like, you know what? They need a cat. So I just didn't play on them again. So now I've got them a cat and a kitten. And oh my god, I was squealing to my sister last night. It was adorable. Like, the kitten was so cute. But I am not... Um, I didn't play on them much. I only played for about 10 minutes. And then I had to um, come off and have my dinner anyway. So, yeah. Right. No, we're starting with the media. 
So we're going to do hairstyles first. I am so excited. I might change her eyebrows at some point, but I'm going to leave them like that for now. So hairstyles, we're going to filter it as cats and dogs. Wow, there's a lot of hairstyles. I'm going to start with short hair. So there is this curly one. That looks quite cool. She's, she's going to have long hair, I'm just warning you now, but I'm going to look through them all anyway. There's this one, which is pretty cool. This one, that does remind me a little bit like one of the kind of like the kind of style of it of one of the ones from get to work which is pretty cool um this one with the cat ears she's not gonna have that but that is very cool right we've got this lovely one with the bow i really like this so this must be i'm guessing the bow changes color yeah so the bow changes color with all the different hairstyles which is awesome right we've got this really lovely curly one i really like that oh she's so pretty yeah, I literally just created these guys. Um, they're not as perfect. I think they were quite perfect when I first made them. And then my game crashed. So I was not happy to have lost them. But yeah. Ah, so this is the dog version. Ah, so this one's got dog things on. And this one's got just flowers. And then I'm guessing, does this one have cats? No, this one's plain. Ah, there's three options. There's a dog bone one, a flower one. Which changes colour, obviously. Um, and then a plain one. That's quite nice. So that is like, yeah, quite pretty. And then we've got this little bun at the back, which is quite nice actually, it speaks for a bit. And then we've got a ponytail, which has a little plait thingy, that is so pretty, I love, I love ponytails like that. Now on to long hair, so we've got this one, which I think I will probably use quite a bit, I do quite like this one. Oh, and it's really long at the back, so yeah, I will probably use this one quite a lot. Hair looks weird with that. Um, this one, like that singer person, I know who I mean, but I can't remember the name of her. Uh, one of my friends likes her, but yeah, she had hair like that. I want to say Melanie something, but I don't know if I'm right there. Um, okay, that looks quite cool actually. I'm not going to give it to her, but that does look quite cool. This one I really, really like. I quite like the um, like the dip dye kind of effect at the bottom. It's really nice. I like this one especially with this blue like that is amazing obviously she wouldn't have blue eyebrows but that is so cool and then there's this one and I really like this one actually with the plait and then the little bun at the back that's really pretty and last but not least my absolute favorite that she is definitely going to have is this curly one oh my gosh it's just the effects on it is amazing the sims team are just so amazing and this is it in a few different wow it looks good in ginger okay that is amazing i'm so given so many of my sims makeovers they're probably gonna a lot of them are gonna have this hair now oh my gosh she looks so pretty with that right so that is her hair we are going to see what accessories we have no earrings oh i need to go to cats and dogs anyway. no earrings no okay Cats and, no, that's what you're doing. Cats and dogs. Okay, so it's just necklaces. So we have a little cat face one, I think that is. And then a dog one. That's quite cute. She's going to wear the cat one, I think. She's going to have a purple version. So, oh my gosh. So, we've got this little paw print top, which is so cool. And there's a paw print on the back. Oh my gosh. And then we've got this vet top which is really cool, I like that. And we've got this crazy cat lady top. Oh, and it's got a few dog versions as well. This is pretty much a crazy cat lady top, which is what I would probably, well, I wouldn't wear something that patterned, but one day, you never know, I might end up, I might end up with a crazy cat lady jumper. Probably, because I probably will be, if I'm not already a crazy cat lady, it will happen one day if it hasn't. No, it kind of has happened already. And this jumper is so cool. I love how like long and baggy it is. It's so pretty. And then we've got a cardigan, which I love. And we've got this top with a scarf. Oh my gosh, she's so wearing that as one of her outfits, I think. This awesome jacket, which I love. We've got the little um, wolf. I think it's a wolf. And then we've got the plain versions as well, which is really cool. This jacket, which is quite businessy and smart actually, I like that. And then this hoodie, which completely cuts off her hair so she's not going to wear that. She might wear that to sleep. 
But yeah, she is going to wear, as her main outfit, she's going to wear this jacket, but then for her, she's going to have two outfits. No, three, because one's going to be a full body. So for the third outfit, she's going to have this lovely pink one. I really like pink. It does cover up her necklace, but that's fine. And then for this one, so that's all the tops, uh -huh. the bottoms, I don't know how many bottoms we have. As I said, I like I have watched, I did watch the first initial live stream, but after that I didn't watch anything to do with it because, um, well I'll show that in this one actually. Uh, yeah, I didn't watch anything to do with it because I didn't want to spoil anything for myself. So yeah, okay. So that's cool with the jacket, still doesn't show very well that top, but... Yep, cool. Oh. I'm gonna keep that on her. And then these really nice shorts. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to show you on this outfit. Yep, cool. I like these. And we've got a skirt, which is very nice. And we've got another skirt with bones on, and then there's one with cats on. Oh, I like that one. Oh, that's good. That's really cute. And some others with cats on. Poodle one, which looks really lovely. Another poodle one, and another poodle one, which is really cool. <laughs> And then we've got some vet trousers, which is pretty awesome. With this outfit, I am going to give her one of the cat. Oh, probably this one. That looks quite good. I'm gonna. I'm just going with it. Even if patterns clash, she doesn't really care. All right, shoes. That I think there's two lots of shoes from the looks of it. Yep. We've got some boots, which look pretty awesome, and some. Oh my gosh, some like shoes that have like cats' faces on. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, she's wearing the cat shoes. She is wearing the cat shoes. We're wearing the black version. I don't know if we have any... I think we've got some accessories. Yep, we have got a bracelet, which I'll have a cut in a minute. And we've got some animal legging -y things, which I so want to have her wear, but that's too much pattern clashing. So we are not going to have her wear that. But that is... wow. I just love that. Okay, so we'll go for the full body in a minute. This one, I can show you the bracelet. So it's basically a cat. I think there might be some dogs or I think it's just cats. It's like a cat that swells up with their tail. That is awesome. I'm not going to wear it though, but I love that. Um, with this outfit, she can wear... Ah. Probably just be plain. No, oh, she can maybe wear this. I don't know if they can... I don't know if they go very well, but... She's not, we've already established, she's probably not going to be wearing anything that matches. Um, we'll go with some white ones, they look quite good. Um, and does that, that's too much pattern I think, that's not. That's not. Uh, let's just give her some shoes, she's going to wear the boots with this one. No, crazy cat lady. Okay. What colour goes with blue? I love the sim, I love Amelia. Did I actually, think about it, did I have... No, I think I just did a Kaz video once with a sim called Amelia. I think we're fine. I didn't actually, um... Why are you giving her that to mm. Don't, she doesn't need socks. Mm, I'll give her some anyway. Just in case, she might get cold. Um, right, full body on this. Wow. There seems to be a lot of full body outfits. An awful lot. I've already been talking for ages. Right, so we have got this kind of animal lover patchwork dress thing with a jumper underneath cool um this oh i really like this outfit wow okay that looks so good on her i think we might be choosing that outfit but there's too many nice outfits oh my god oh that's so pretty wow oh the pink one that's my favorite doesn't really suit her very well but i love that and this is awesome I love that. There's a patchwork mm. of it. This one is so cool. I love this. I really like that flower pattern actually. Well that goes that suits her quite well, I think. Some of you might be shouting, no Emma, that does not go well. Oh no that one. Oh I like that. Dungarees. Awesome. English Simmer would love them. I need to watch her around uh, part actually. Oh I love them actually. That one looks good. And then this, which also looks pretty good. I like that. And last but not least, this outfit that's... Ah, this is like a, a plain version of this without the um, jumper underneath. Cool. I was... Oh, I don't know. I really like that. But no, she's having a dress. Hmm. Now, that one or that one? 
that's more colourful. I'm going with that one. And we're going to have to boots with it. We are going to have red boots so that they go with the belt bit. We don't need any socks or anything. I'm loving this. Right, we're going to get rid of the necklace though. She doesn't need the necklace for that outfit or this outfit. Perfect. Right, she is looking really great. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Okay, so that is Amelia. Um, now we're on Phoenix. Just realised haven't even uh, got to the pets yet and we're quite I've been talking for a while right so cats and dogs wow we've got a lot of hairs we've got that that none of these suit them so far cool. oh they've got different things at the sides so we've got lightning bolts stripes more lightning bolts that's just normal paw print thingy my bob cool that's nice and that and for medium oh he's got the cat one as well um, and we've got this man bun, and we've not got any long ones. Um, I'm gonna go with this because I like that. He looks cute. Right, everyday wear. Wow, I'm happy with this. Men don't usually get much, but we've got loads of stuff for them this time, which is awesome. So, thank you, Sims team. Hmm. Awesome. Oh, I like this. That's cute. That reminds me of something from The Sims 3 Late Night, always short. Sims 3 for late night, that does. Cool. Quite, I love the like effects on that. Oh, I like this. I'm probably going to end up wearing that, actually. Um, jacket. Oh, this. I really like this. Not the yellow one, though. There we go. That's nice. Turtle neck jumper. Crazy cat man top. There we go. Well, he's not. Um, he's a dog person, though. There we go. Crazy dog man top that's quite cool uh paw print top and vet top so we are going to go for that for his first outfit his second outfit's going to be full body and his third outfit is going to be the crazy crazy dog man um jumper thing we are going to do okay i don't know maybe he wouldn't wear that no i don't think he'd wear that actually so we're going to <laughs> go for what's that what else did i like quite like the this cardigan actually you know what he's only gonna have two outfits right so we've got that cats and dogs i'm not gonna look through the children's stuff um because if you want to see that you can check someone else's overview out because i don't really have time to that because i still haven't gone to creating the cats and dogs yet um so yeah that's not gonna be happening in this part but when they do eventually have children i'm gonna go with these when i do when they do eventually have children they, um, I will, sh I will show you when they have the children, um, what they are going, what all the new clothes are for them. So that is going to be awesome, right? We're going with them like that. Now we're going to have the same shoes. Um, full body. I don't know if we can have that yet. Full body. We get one full body outfit. That's fine. Cool. I quite like that actually. Well, he's just going to have that. There we go. Lovely. That actually suits him quite well. Um, formal wear. I'm just going to... Right, you know what? I'm going to do the rest of his outfits off screen for a minute. Okay, <gasps> I'm back and I have done Phoenix's outfits. Now we are going to create a pet. So we are going to do a dog first. No, we're going to do a cat first. We're going to do a cat first. Oh my god, is that is adorable. A British long hair. Oh no, it's coughing up something. Lovely. Um, so yeah, we are going to, okay, that is just so cute. Okay, I want this cat. I actually want this cat. Where is it? The British long hair. Do you see what they, ah, so there's the white version and then there's a the darker version. Okay, you know what? We're just going to have a British long hair. Right, we can go through them. So there's a tuxedo cat, which is so cute. Um, there is a Turkish Angora, there is a Tonkinese, which I might be pronouncing wrong, I'm so sorry, um, there is a Tabby, there is a Sphinx Cat, oh that jumped up a bit, there is a Somali Cat, oh that's cute, there is a Singa, Singapura Cat, there is a Siberian Cat, which is all oh, so fluffy, so cute and fluffy. Um, and then Siamese, which is what my nan and granddad used to have. They used to have two Siamese called Bella and Sophie. They were so cute. One of them looked just like this. Can't remember which one though. And then the other one looked like that. 
so they, yeah. Um, a Scottish Fold, which is so cute, like, oh my god. A Savannah Cat, which again is adorable, so cute. There is Russian Blue, so cute. Um, a Ragdoll Cat, which I love the Ragdoll Cats, they are so, so cute. A Raccoon, as you do, you know, just shove a Raccoon in there. Um, a Persian, and they have different coloured Persians as well, they have um, different kinds. There is an oriental short hair, there is an oriental long hair. I know they're doing weird jumps because I'm going through them quickly. There is an ossicat. Okay, never heard of that before. Kind of an ocelot before, but not an ossicat. Um, Norwegian forest cat, which is so cute. There is a Maine Coon, which is like my uncle's cat. They're not that colour though, they are um, different colours. But that is what they are, it's adorable. Manx cat. A Lycoi cat? Uh, a Lapum cat? A Carillion bobtail? Oh, okay, that's cute. That is so cute. A Korak? A Javanese? Which is this one. There is a Japanese bobtail. As you can see, it's got a little bobtail. There is a Himalayan cat, which is very cute. There is a Havana brown cat. There is a German Rex, a Gypsum Mouth, Devon Rex, Cornish Rex, lots of different types of Rex, isn't there? A Colour Point Short Hair, Chartreuse, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm so sorry. A, missed that one, Calico, that's very cute actually, Burmese. British short hair, which I'll come back to you because nope, yeah, British short hair, cute. British long hair, I'll come back to you in a minute because that's what we're going to have as our cat. A Bombay cat, a black cat, Burman, Bengal, Balinese, American wire hair, American short hair, American long hair. American bobtail and Abyss Abyssinian. So not saying that right, I'm so sorry. Right, British long hair, that's what we're going for. We're going for a white one though. Very cute. And it's not going to have the fluffy trait because that is just annoying and quite disgusting. Um, so it's going to have a long tail. So the options are the body options, they have three body types. I'm not touching it though, don't want to mess it up. Um, tails, different tails. Colour pattern, furs, here it's fur, pet clothing, there's different hats that she can wear. Here's a she as well, I wanted to be a she, yeah, that's fine. Um, different hats that she can wear, nope, didn't want to go there. Different hats, there's a shark one, <laughs> um, there is little lion mane kind of hat thing, and the, oh, the grilled cheese, the grilled cheese. Um, different types of the, Pretty much cheese sandwich, grilled cheese, and burnt grilled cheese. That is the different parts in the same house now. Um, there is top, which is like a jumper, jumper with patterns on, little top thing, jacket, like a cool dude cat, or dudette, and then a little cute hat, that's really cute, little hoodie one. Outfits, there is a taco, as you know, a Roman, oh she's posing, that's so cute. Little Roman y soldier y kind of outfit. Little very cute dinosaur dragon kind of. No, it's a dragon, it's not wings. Um, not that some dinosaurs didn't have wings, but yeah, it's a dragon. And a sushi. Very cute. And we are going to give her a collar if she doesn't look a bit funny with one. She look, kind of moves her fur around a bit, but I guess it only messes up the front, which is quite good. We are going to have, give her a bow, I think, because that is so cute. There we go, she's going to have a bow. Oh, they're very fluffy! Right, so her, well her last name, she is going to have Mayfield as her last name, uh, both pets are going to have Mayfield as her last name. I am going to call her, oh I don't know what to call her, I don't know what to call her, um, I'm going to call her Tulip, I quite like that, Tulip Mayfield, that sounds adorable. We're getting rid of the fluffy trait, um, I, um, these cats are more fluffy than normal, they'll hack up hairballs more often, I don't really want, mm, see I don't really want to be dealing with that. But it is true because it's gonna. That's what's gonna happen. I've got long-haired cats as well, and they do do that. But 
Right, I'm gonna go through the traits. So there's territorial. These cats. Oh, these cats are fairly protective of their territory. They will be aggressive to anyone new they meet. So that's this one. Talkative, like my cat Toffee at home. Um, these cats love to yowl along with other sims and have even try to sing upon request. Okay, I don't know if you heard the meow then. Um, spoiled. These cats are spoiled creatures. Scolding them hardly ever changes their behaviour. Very stubborn. Skittish. These cats are scared of everything. Okay, well, almost everything. They also like to hide a lot. Prowler. These cats enjoy prowling around the neighbourhood. Send them out and they might come back with something they've found. Ooh. Playful. These pets love toys and want to play all the time, even when they're not excited. So cute. Oh. Mischievous or mischievous. These cats are always up to no good. They off they will often misbehave and can even be encouraged to do so. Oh, lovely. Lazy. These cats really enjoy their cat naps. They are also less likely to jump from place to place since it takes too much effort. Glutton. These pets will eat significantly more often and much more messily. And then frisky. These cats are more active than other cats. They really like to pounce and run around. Friendly. These pets tend to be friendly to other sims um, and will happily greet other sims around them. Very cute. She's going to be friendly actually. Um, free spirit. These cats enjoy wandering around the world almost as if they were wild animals. But don't worry, they'll always come home for the food. Curious. These cats are more curious about their surroundings. They like to search different objects around the house. Clever. These cats are fast learners and some say that they can even understand simlish when spoken to. Very cool. Um, aloof. These cats don't really need owners. They, they're just here for the free food. And affectionate, like my both my cats. These cats really love their owners. They're trying to stick close to them whenever possible. We're going to go. If that's why cat is fluffy, friendly, and affectionate. So create a dog. Now there's going to be much more breeds, many more breeds. So I'm not going to go through all of the breeds like I did with the cats because there is probably over 100. I don't. Know. Well, there's going to be over 50 at least. No, there's going to be so many breeds, and I don't want this video being too long. It probably already is. Um, my, I'm going to just look. That is so cute. Um, we are just going to look at a few of them. I'm going to see. Oh, I love the Australian Shepherd. It's so cute. Um, just thinking what my favourite kind of dog is. That's quite cute. I don't know if we want. I think we want a big dog. That's the thing because we've got a cat. I think we want a big dog. We don't want one too big, but we do want a kind of big dog. What dogs do I like? Oh, Charles Shepard. Oh. Um, just trying to think of my favourite kind of dogs. I really like huskies. Like I really like huskies. I'm gonna see if they have any huskies. They have a Siberian husky. Awesome. Okay, yeah, we've got to get the husky. We have got to get the husky. I love huskies. We're getting a husky. Um, yeah, the different tails for dogs as well. There's like a, there's the up ones and the little kind of yeah, they're really cute. Um, dog clothes. There are different hats. There's two different hats. There's that hat, which is cute, and there's a little unicorn horn, which is adorable. Um, different colours, which we will be wearing. We'll come back to that because we're going to be wearing that little um. Outfit oh, we can have different. As we can have a walking outfit and a normal outfit. Cool. Tops. Oh, okay. I might have the scarf actually because that's really cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, it's going to be both of our pets are going to be girls, and that is just because I want to somehow get them to have puppies. Um, because. I do want them to have puppies um, and kittens um, without having to get loads more pets into the household so we are going to do that at some point so that's why it's just easier if they're both girls and do that um, what's the... right so I definitely want the flower I don't know if we want the flower one I think we might just have a corporate one or... I'll keep that, but we'll leave it for now. And there's the llama dog outfit. Um, 
collar? Oh, okay, it's got rid of it. You know what? We'll just have a collar. We'll just have a collar. That is a really cute one. We're having that. Um, for walking, we are having the same collar, but we are going to have a little harness on it as well. If we can. No. Yep, can we have that as well? Or can we just have. Let me take that off because we don't need it. We're just going to have a harness on for walking. So it's much better than just using the lead. So yeah, that is our husky. I'm going to do her traits. Oh, I haven't gone through the dog traits yet, actually. So, dog traits active. These dogs are very energetic. They really like running and enjoy frequent walks. Adventurous. These dogs will sometimes leave the house to go on solo adventures, but are also happy to go on an adventure with their owner. Well, that's my timer. That means I've been probably made the um, video more than half an hour. Oops. I'll have to do some editing. Um, aggressive. These dogs would be more hostile when greeting others and might attack others were unless properly trained. Ooh. Couch potato. These dogs are low energy creatures that like to relax and unwind with their owners rather than run around. Very cute. Friendly. These pets tend to be friendly to other sims and will happily... Ooh. And will happily greet other sims around them. We're going to make... Um, both our pets to be friendly so he, she is going to be friendly as well Glutton, these pets will eat significantly, significantly more often and much more messily just like the cat same with the cat Hairy, like fluff, like furry with the cat but it's hairy with the dogs these dogs will leave hair piles lying around brush their fur to keep things tidy Hunter, these dogs are natural hunters send them off in the world and they'll hunt or dig things awesome Independent these dogs are less likely to need constant affection and can even walk themselves. We don't want an independent dog, though. Jumpy. These dogs are easily frightened and like to hide more often. They will often shy away from things like fights. Loyal. These dogs want to be closer to their owners and love to be petted. They like to follow their owners around. They're going to keep that one as well. We're going to have a loyal dog. Playful. These pets love toys and want to play all the time, even when they're not excited, just like the cat version. Sleuth. These dogs are naturally more curious and like to investigate different objects around the house. Uh, smart. These dogs, these bright dogs are easier to train and pick up tricks easily. They might even understand Simlish. That's what she's going to be, but I'm just going to go through the others. Stubborn. These dogs don't like being told what to do. Scolding them doesn't do much to change their misbehaviours, but you can try begging them to stop. Troublemaker. These dogs are always up to nothing good. They will often misbehave and can all even be encouraged to do so. Oh gosh. Vocal. These dogs like to howl occasionally and can even sing on command. And we are going with... What's going to go with? Smart, I think. I'm just go with, yeah, we're going to go with Smart. Right, so our last name is Mayfield. I can, yeah. Cannot type today. You know what? We're going to name her Amethyst. Why not? Amethyst Mayfield. That's quite cute. Okay, we are back um i have just moved them into an unfurnished house the only one we could afford because i didn't feel like building one which is called brindleton boat house it looks pretty cool actually it's just got this area upstairs it's not actually it's kind of like a loft it's not actually a bedroom but it probably will be the bedroom um then yeah it will be then we've got kitchen area little bathroom kind of dining area living area whichever way we decided to do that so i'm just going to have a look at the uh, furnishing the house and then we will finish so you're going to brush the cat and you're going to pet her and praise her and you are going not had a dog yet and you are going to pet her and brush her and You are going to training, train, sit. Oh, do we need like a... Okay, we need a squeaky toy for that. Um, you are going to then... Okay. Nope, you are going to... Hug. There we go. Right, I'm just going to look at some of these interactions and then we will. Ah, so. uh, Brindleton so. Bay is just amazing. I mean, there's a random car over here. Just It just looks amazing. This must be the part. Oh, no, that's someone's house. Wow. Okay. Um, the beach over here, oh my gosh, there's the beach over here, and the pier, and oh my god, it looks amazing, and I think we can, oh my gosh, we can even travel to the lighthouse in this boat over here, wow, this is just incredible, this world, oh my gosh, it's beautiful, 
Wow. I'm so happy I got this expansion pack. So happy. Anyway, right. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, pet. <laughs> pet training skill acquired. Felix has acquired the pet training skill. He'll be able to train dogs to sit, speak, fetch, roll over, and lie down, as well as show off their pet to other sims. Cat lover lesson. Amelia is a cat lover. Sims who are cat lovers are happy to run around cats, finding it faster to become friends with cats. Awesome. Oh, whoosh. There we go. Right, we'll leave them to it for now. Oh, so what we need to do for this aspiration is have a pet in your household. We've got two. And be friends with one animal, then be friendly with animals 12 times. We are doing that at the moment. So, um, you know what? I'm going to do the furnishing. I'm going to do the furnishing another time. I'm just going to grab the things we need. Um, I will talk you through it in the next part. Get the catalyst train there. Um, I'm going to talk you through it in the next part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first part. Um, I got very excited. So, yeah, hopefully you guys will... Enjoy, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next part and I will um, show you the rest of the house once I've furnished it. Bye guys!